Hey guys, Ash Lane here coming at you today talking about three ways to three star using Queen Walk at Town Hall 9. So we're going to explore Goho, Golaloon, and using a Dragon Hybrid Army. First we're going to start with a raid by Cordell over in Red Elite and he's going to use a traditional type Golaloon Army but he's going to start with a Queen Walk and it's a very short walk. I'm not even sure if you could technically call this a Queen Walk. It's more of just a traditional healer queen and what he's going to do is he's going to funnel his queen right into that enemy queen's compartment so here he goes using a couple wizards and minions to help funnel out those buildings to the south and then he's going to use a few wizards over there to the east as well then when the coast is clear he's going to sneak in some wall breakers and that will lead his queen right into the enemy queen's compartment so really nice funneling job here by Cordell and if you want to send the queen directly Directly into an area this is the way to do it make sure you lay down that funnel just barely gets that rage down in time can't hurt pre-placing that rage a little bit early more often than not you don't need the full extent of the ability there but you can see there was a lava hound in the clan castle and when you can clear out the defensive units around where the queen happens to be you can easily take down a lava hound and the pups now notice to the top of your screen there, he's going to sneak in a golem and the rest of his entry kill squad, and he's going to split it. Obviously, he has the healer queen in the south, he has the barbarian king pretty soon will be dropped in the north, and the idea here is to take out two air defenses and the queen. Not afraid to use that second rage spell on his queen, because obviously you have to achieve the objectives of the first phase of the attack. What are the objectives? You guys know them by now. It's take out the enemy queen, take out the enemy clan castle and take down two air defenses he does that right now his barbarian king iron fist ability will just get the job done on that second air defense and here comes the laloon portion of the raid already in progress coming in from the south gonna use haste spells very nice use of spells here he uses the poison for the pups to keep the queen alive dealing with those uh those pups from the lava hound he's using haste spells on the air portion of the raid and he's using the rage spells to keep the queen alive with the uh, uh, the healer queen with the queen walk portion of the raid so just a really nice fundamental raid here splitting your heroes a lot of people ask when do you know to split your heroes and it you know it's a pretty easy simple answer right you look at the base beforehand and you think to yourself is there any viable way where I can take down two air defenses with my kill squad? And if there's not, then you might have to consider splitting your heroes. Now, why would you want to attack a base like this with Golaloon versus Goho? Well, if you rewind, you might take a look at this base. This was a fresh hit, and when you're going against a base like this, there was a lot of open areas in the interior, very hard to trigger with a traditional Goho army, so Cordell opted to use the Golaloon, splitting the Heroes, so very nice attack by Cordell there. This attack you might notice as a little bit familiar, and this is by Master Yoda from Reddit Raiders. I love this attack. We actually entered into the Raid of the Century tournament, and uh, I just loved it. This was my personal favorite, and I wanted to bring it to you guys again in case you missed it in that tournament. There were 12 raids, so I figured you might not have seen them all. So he's going to start off against this Dead Zone base. So Dead Zone is the popular trend at Town Hall 9 for sure. That's when there's a large area without defensive units sometimes with wall uh, wall pieces as you can see here in this towards the northern part of this base and it's just a really popular trend but they're kind of easy to hit if you use dragons so master yoda is going to go ahead and start again with the queen walk you can see not afraid to rage those healers on the queen to keep her alive now the thing about these dead zone bases is a lot of the, the big downside the, the plus side of the dead zone bases we should talk about that first is that that dead zone is tough to combat using traditional strategy without having to adjust for the base. Uh, usually your kill squad will run into that dead area and not know how to react. If you came in from the north, for example, there'd be a large chance of a fail if you were coming for back-end hogs. As your troops kind of get lost, your golems don't really go exactly where you want them to go. It's just harder to funnel, and it's harder to predict for someone who's not
not used to dealing with them. But the down, the good side as the attacker is there's a really low defensive concentration on one area in these dead zone bases. So you can actually use the healer queen, the queen walk with a lot of success and then use dragons in the more defensively dense area. In this case, it was towards the north end of the base. Now we're going to end with a raid by shockwave here and it's against a trophy base. So I wanted to bring this because not everybody's hitting anti three star bases in their clan wars all the time. So I wanted to show in a good example of hitting a well upgraded trophy base. So he's going to come in here towards the queen. It's very easy to decide where to attack from against a trophy base. You always go in towards the queen area nine times out of ten. That's where you're going to start your attack. The enemy queen will attract your queen, and then you just use your queen to take out the uh, the enemy queen, and obviously you will have the healers to your benefit, hopefully not engaging in too much defensive attention there, or too much defensive firepower, and you can keep your queen alive. But always be ready with the queen's ability if you have to use it, because you have to keep her alive. So this is a goho attack, and he has uh, two golems here, so he's going to do a shattered goho. The two golems coming in from the south here, going to bust a hole through that southern wall there with some wall breakers now the funnel is created you can see worked out really well there a nice path to the center of the base so lava hound in the clan castle no big deal gonna go ahead and deal with that with some wizards under rage works great now you want to note that he only has about a dozen hogs that's because he chose to take eight wizards and two golems and the four healers so if you want to still roll with a shattered goho on the uh, on the queen walk you have to be prepared to take less hogs and if you're taking less hogs that means that every little hog's life matters so you want to make sure it's absolutely critical that you make sure that the defensive attention is primarily focused on your kill squad versus is your hogs. Don't send the hogs in too early and don't send them in from the opposite side of the map because you're just going to die and your attack will fluster out. You can see Shockwave does a pretty good job here of surgically deploying the hogs around the base there. He just waits till the Barbarian King makes his way up. The Barbarian King's staying alive because he has the golems, the two golems to help keep him alive as well, steal some defensive attention from him. And all the meanwhile here, the queen is still alive as well in the eastern part of the base being kept alive live by the healers now obviously you guys already know this but with a goho attack starting with the queen walk you're really going to rely on your queen as both the start and the end of the raid more often than not she's going to be a big part of the cleanup duty so hold back a couple wizards for cleanup bring a couple of archers all the normal stuff but also be sure that uh, you keep your queen alive. Make sure you use a rage spell to keep her alive in the beginning if you need to. Make sure you use your, her ability if you need to. You can see Shockwave uh, executed this very smoothly, so smoothly that he didn't even need to use the queen's ability or the poison spell or the heal spell. So very impressive attack. So guys, I hope you enjoyed three examples of how to use queen walk for three stars at Town Hall 9. Let me know in the comments below if you have any other ways that you use queen walk and as as always, take care, guys.